Bean crew, you're never gonna believe what showed up today. My freaking silver play button in just in time too. I had just finished my workout. I was about to eat breakfast. I ate breakfast now. I did uh, glutes today, which is something new I've been changing up. But I'm gonna open up this first and then I'm gonna explain what I've been doing with glutes. So, oh my God, this is so exciting. <laughs> and it's crazy to think about. Um, I hit 200,000 uh, subscribers before this even showed up from when I hit 100,000 subscribers. Yeah. Open that right up. All right. Unsafe scissor technique, but do what I say, not what I do. Oh, there's another tape. Okay. Oh. Oh no, I'm cutting the cardboard. Okay. Now it's open. Ah, there we go. Here we go. Oh, there's a letter. I'll read this one first. Congratulations on your subscriber milestone. We are honored to take part in recognizing your achievement and want your experience to be exceptional. This award was inspected and packaged with great care by Rick. If your award is damaged during shipping or, oh, yeah, it's not damaged, I don't think. How can you tell me? And then I uh, got yeah, this. Uh, do you remember your first subscriber, your 100th or your 1,000th subscriber? Chances are you do, and you know that you'll definitely remember your 100,000 subscriber. Your fans may have found you while searching YouTube, learned about you through a friend, or maybe you showed up as recommended video. No matter how they came to your channel, your audience stayed and their numbers increased because of you and the community you built. And you did. You did stick around, all of you. I know I got a few people who comment that they've been here since day one, and man, that's a good feeling knowing that I, I'm just like positive enough. I'm good vibes enough to keep you guys around for so long. We're proud to honor your impressive milestone of reaching 100,000 subscribers with the Silver Creator Award. Congratulations. And actually, the FedEx guy who delivered it said congratulations to me. I think he knew it was in the box somehow. I don't, I don't know. So keep creating, keep building. We can't wait to see you, what you'll do next. And we're here to support you along the way. And who knows, when you reach your millionth subscriber, we may just write you, write to you and ask, do you remember your 100,000 subscriber? <laughs> yeah. It's awesome. Dude, I remember when the night I was going to hit 100,000, me and Jeffrey stayed up till like midnight or like, I don't know, 2 a.m. And uh, we were just watching it go up and up and up and up. And oh man, that was oh, There it is! There it is! I was looking right at it and I didn't even notice. Oh, look at it. Presented to Bradley G for passing 100,000 subscribers. Look at this thing. Look at it. Beautiful. Oh, yo. The back is this. Oh, hangs with two. I'm thinking I'm gonna put it either over here where this violin thing is, or uh, like next to my bed, so that uh, every morning when I wake up I see it. But if I put it where the violin thing is, then um, it's gonna be like, you know, when people walk in, this will be the first thing they see because they look over at the couch where I'm sitting. And yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? Next to my bed or right in the living room? 100,000, then I already hit 200,000, which is crazy. Oh. Now let's explain the glutes thing, man. You, you're here for fitness content. You're here for weight loss, right? So over the last two weeks, I've been doing more glute exercises. I looked up some Chris Heria videos, looked at some uh, other random videos by different people, and uh, I ended up seeing a lot of cool stuff, a lot of, a lot of cool glutes exercises, you know? And a lot of easy stuff that I can do, you know, I'm, I'm like over a year into my weight loss journey, but still, I, uh, I'm making progress, I'm getting stronger. But I'm still not elite athlete status, you know? I can't do all the stuff that, uh, you know, super fit people can. But I found some stuff I can do that works out glutes, and you know, uh, <laughs> I just, I want to have a nice butt again. I used to have a nice butt when I was young, but then uh, I got fat, so the butt kind of lost its shape. So I'm, I'm, I'm working to retain that, you know, re-attain that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm, uh, 
I've been doing that uh, every third morning. You know, I have that rotation, you know. I've showed you before, I do uh, one day arms, you know, which is actually an upper body day, you know. I do arms, shoulder, chest on the same day, you know. And then I do a day of legs, which is also legs and core, and uh, then uh, I added a third day. No, back before it was uh, arms day, then legs day, but then I started doing legs day every day, and then an arms day at noon. And uh, now I've decided that I do arms day, legs day, butt day. You know, just uh, as the three as the three days, and then I go around, and that gives me you know. And uh, rest days, rest days. You know, at, sometimes you guys ask about rest days. I, I tend to work out every day, and then when I start to feel like I, I can't uh, do it anymore, you know, I uh, I uh, I'll take a rest day. You know, and normally by the end of the rest day, I can't stand taking a rest day anymore. So I go and uh, do night gym with Jeffrey, and I run on the elliptical. You know, I, I've been doing that a lot lately. You know, you've been seeing a few night gym videos recently, but oh uh, well, man, I'm running like a maniac. Uh, recently, I, uh, <laughs> I I went to night gym with Jeffrey, and I tried a new thing because I, I was feeling kind of stunted. You know, I, I've been having trouble lately uh, losing weight and staying down and. Uh, I wanted to try something harder to get myself more motivated, get myself more sweating, more breathing heavy. So I got on the elliptical and I increased the resistance. And normally I just press quick start and then I run for the 30, 40 minutes I do. But uh, this time I, uh, I increased it up to setting seven, which uh, Jeffrey said he hadn't done. So that was pretty impressive, I guess. And uh, I ran for the whole 30 minutes on setting seven for resistance. And I was like, damn. That seems cool, you know? And I was sweaty, I was out of breath, you know, it was like when I started, you know? You remember when I started doing running on the elliptical, how I uh, could only run for like 14 minutes and I would get really out of breath and have to sit down? Well, I ran that whole 30 minutes and it was, it was like that, you know? Because I was on resistance setting 7, but I didn't have to sit down, you know? That's how much my, uh, my strength has been building up and how much weight I've lost, you know? There's this difference where I can do the resistance training and I can get out of breath, but I can still stand, you know? You know, and uh, I don't know if you can see my calves. I'll back up real far, but they've gotten really, really good. I don't know if it's on the camera right now. I hope it is. Maybe I'll just change angles so you can see the camera better. I mean, so you can see my calves better. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. See that? This is like that meme, uh, I got the one, two, buckle my shoe, three, four, you know, but, uh, <clears throat> it's like, uh, one, two, working out cast, I don't <laughs> can't think of a rhyme, tried to think of a rhyme, couldn't, but, uh, you know, we're trying our best, we're trying our best, we're working, uh, yeah, yeah, so that's what's been going on in my life, and, uh, 100,000 subscribers, 200,000 subscribers, silver play button, working out with glutes, running more, doing resistance training, hanging out with Jeffrey, everything's staying normal, and uh, I lost three pounds yesterday, so we're doing good.